If you guys are looking for any online or offline grinding, hit up my guy Rose NBA on Twitter. This is his Twitter right on the screen. I have to do a little bit of a uh, you know makeshift promo for now. Again, I am in a hotel for the next couple of days, and I do not have my stuff. I don't have my promos. I don't have anything. So you know, obviously, just winging it here. So make sure to hit up my guy Rose again. One hundred percent reliable. One hundred percent legit. So hit up this page now. What's up, guys? So you guys obviously can see the setup is a little different, and I'm going to sound a little bit different and everything. Um, this isn't going to be this way for that long. It's just going to be a couple of videos, but I am recording this out of a hotel, and the next couple of videos are going to be out of a hotel, so I don't have my full setup. I have a little bit to where I can still obviously make content for you guys, um, and there is still a lot of content I do want to make, so be sure to stay tuned for all of that. Um, everything's going to sound okay as far as, like, I got my mic going. Uh, I am still a little sick, as you guys could hear, um, but... Like I said, we still got our content rolling, so don't worry about that. I just want to make a quick little intro. I do apologize because it's going to be a little scuffed here and there. Um, the editing might not be able to be all that great, mainly because the computer I'm recording off of is not mine. I forgot the password to my laptop and had everything on it, so I'm actually using my wife's. So bear with me, but let's get into this video, though. I hope you guys enjoy, and yeah. Let's go. So today in my team, we did get a brand new set here, guys. Obviously, you know, you guys have seen tons of videos on this. I have Manu Ginobili, Throw Bailey, Keldon Johnson, and Chuck Nevitt. Now, Chuck Nevitt was supposed to be, guys, our, our version of a Yao stopper. This is the card that everybody was hoping we were going to get, mainly because he is a 7'5 center that also has a 7'10 wingspan. Now, this is where I think 2K is really going to be getting exposed here for doing something very, very dirty. So, obviously, over the last couple of weeks, especially every single Friday, every single Tuesday, people have been begging for one thing and one thing only, and that is going to be a Yao Ming stopper. Yao has been in this game for months now and has by far been, if not one of the best, the best card in the game. And it's obviously because of a lot of different stuff that Yao has that just makes him so good. Now, the problem with this Chuck, guys, is that he does only have 25 speed. And that is the thing that a lot of people were upset about because this card needed to have a high amount of speed. Nobody even cares about the three ball anymore. Everybody just wants a card fast enough to be able to keep up with Yao. So not only does he have a 25 speed, but he also has a 25 lateral quickness. And that is a huge, huge, huge problem Again, when you guys are looking at a guy like Yao Ming, Yao again has been in this game for a couple months now. And I go ahead, again, just go ahead and take a look at this card. I mean, he has a 70 speed with balls, if that's already not kind of ridiculous, 80 speed, 80 acceleration. Um, and even Yao on defense has an 80 lateral quickness. This Yao has just been a broken card in this game. And this is where I feel like 2K is getting exposed a little bit here. I know some of you guys are going to think that I'm just reaching, but hear me out. Let's, look at, let's take a look at some of these past, you know, drops and everything that we have been getting. So the interdimensional pack, this looked really good at first. I mean, when the, with the cards that we did get, I mean, you obviously had guys like Bull Bull, you had Marcus Saul, you had Alonzo Mourning, and you had George Marison. Now, Marison was supposed to be another form of the Yao Ming stopper. When you look at again at his stats, though, 25 acceleration, 25 speed, and 25 lateral quickness. So overall, guys, you're already seeing that we are just not getting the cards that we need. Like, we're not getting the speed, and we're not getting the ability to really have, you know, some of the game-breaking cards. Or not even game-breaking, but we're not even getting the opportunity to have a counter at this Yao Ming. Hey guys, be sure to go over to NBA2King.com if you guys are still looking for cheap and reliable MT. Again, guys, there is ways to get around some of these bands. It's not 100%, but we have been working on brand new methods to help you guys out. If you're curious, be sure to hit me up on Twitter. A little bit of a makeshift promo here, guys, for the next couple of days because I am in a hotel and I don't have my stuff. So I will still be answering Twitter DMs all day. So if you guys want to, again, be sure to hit me up on Twitter and be sure to check out NBA2King.com. The link to their website will be in the description down below. And be sure to use code BIO2K at checkout for a discount on your order. Now, even a guy like Marcus Saul, like Marcus Saul is a very good player in 2K. Like he has like a lot of really good characteristics and he does have 90 speed. He has 96 lateral, which is cool. But like, it sounds insane to say that he's only 7'1". So even then he's still going to get just thrown out of the way by Yao Ming in the post, which is, 
again, everything wrong really with why this game has been going downhill. So let's get into kind of the main point of this video here. I know it's a little bit later in the video than you guys probably wanted to, but nonetheless, my point of what I'm trying to make here, guys, is I personally think they are locking Yao Ming, or excuse me, they are locking in the Yao Ming stopper behind a paywall. And the way that they're doing this, guys, is that we're, again, we're seeing a lot of these cards drop like Chuck Nevitt, like George Marison, like Marcus Saul, like Alonzo Mourning. We're seeing a lot of these somewhat Yao Ming stoppers either not being as good enough as they should be or not getting that speed that's really going to matter. Now, pretty soon here, guys, in my team, we are going to be getting a Minute Ball. Now, Minute Ball is the collection reward, I believe, for the heroes. So there's obviously the Wednesday or the Tuesday heroes and the Friday heroes. Now, the Friday heroes, this is going to be an expensive set, guys. Like, this is no joke. This set is a little ridiculous. I'm not going to lie to you. Just take a look at some of the cards you guys are going to have to lock in. So some of the guys for Friday's thing that you're going to have to lock in, Jordan number one. Jordan is that guy that's just going to be absolutely game-breaking. I believe you have Nicole Jokic in there. You have Bol Bol in there. Overall, the Friday content is expensive. It is insane. They are limiting every way to make MT in this game. And by limiting it, you guys are basically either forced into taking a risk of being banned. Or even if you make your MT legit, you're still taking a risk at being banned because they have all these stupid things in the game that will make you banned. So with this Minute Bowl coming out, guys, I think they are putting the one and only Yao Ming stopper behind Minute Bowl. And because there's so few Yao Mings up on the market, Yao's already going for a ton. So even if you find a way, as uh, you know, again, I'm recording this off of Hotel Wi-Fi, guys, so we're going to just do our best here. Um, but again, though, guys, even if you guys do get Yao Ming or you guys sell your cards to get Yao or you sell them to be able to get whatever, you're still basically in a situation to get either yourself banned for trying to get a counter to this, or you are going to have to spend up to as much as like 10 million MT to lock in this set. And if you guys don't know what Minute Ball I am talking about, again, guys, we're getting a Minute Ball. We're getting a Chet Holmgren. Again, Chet is going to be the guys for the Tuesday stuff, and Minute Ball is going to be for the Friday stuff. So I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think. Is 2K kind of getting exposed yet again for just being money hungry and greedy? Or is this just happening this way because it is what it is? I don't know. I'm kind of curious though. You guys let me know down below in the comments though what you guys think about this. Because honestly, it's kind of insane with uh, the fact that again, a lot. the only real counter to Yao is going to be hidden behind a paywall. So like I said, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah. Peace.